Hi, in this video I'll show you how to create a chord diagram in Power BI. It's also known as a network radio diagram and it's popular in data visualization circles because you can show relationships um, from entities and it kind of shows the flow from one entity to another entity. It's kind of pretty and it's not readily inherent on how the you can read from it so you if you choose to use this type of diagram, you do have to lead the audience to help in reading it. But this particular chord diagram comes from migration data between states in 2018. So I got this off of the US Census, and it's basically state to state migration flows. You can see that the states are in here, so I had to do a little bit of abridging to take this data and kind of pull in just the states uh, get rid of the District of Columbia, Columbia and any of the other islands just to make it a little bit more easier to aggregate this data and pull in the regions. Now this region data also came from the census and determining the states and the regions that they would count them in. So I took, took a little bit of liberty in terms of um, how to align the, the region to the states but this is just for the demos purposes and aggregated that up to the counts for each of the different regions. So we have our firm region and our two region. So this is primarily the data I'm going to take from. So I'm going to copy this first. Control C to copy. And we're going to start anew on how to create this chord diagram. So here I am in a new instance of the Power BI desktop. You can get your data. So you can get your data from Excel or other things, but I already copied the data. So I'm going to just use this option to enter the data since it's a small uh, set of data now. Click in here, control V to paste from our previous uh, copy. And you can see that uh, Power BI was smart enough to know that the first row is header, so it loaded it as headers, or it just did that by default. And click load. I would keep the table name table one, so that's okay. And while it's loading, I can see that if I go into the data view, I can see that it's in here. Go back into my report view, and I need to bring that data in to the chord diagram. And you notice if I look at my data visualizations, it's not here. Uh, by default, it's not there. So you're, we're going to have to import it from the, mark, my, from the marketplace. So I click on my three dots there and click import from marketplace. It is one of the data visualizations that Microsoft develops. So I just type in chord. If I can spell that right, C-O-R-D, press enter. And we're going to have our chord data visualization. Add that in here and it will show up and all I need to do click OK is just bring it in and we have our raw our raw um, plot area for it so all I need to do is just bring these in so by default when I click on the boxes it's going to add to the first one here my from region my to region and then my count as my values and you can see here it's nicely put that in there put the labels in there so there's things that we need to kind of consider here. These these no entities or these are called the nodes of the chord diagram. So we see one. We have a node for the south, a node for the northeast, a node for the midwest, and for the west. So just some terminology of the chord diagram. Now the the connections here. These are called the arcs or Bezier curves, and so they're going to indicate the flow. So if I hover over the the node here, you can see that. The from the the outflows from this node is over three million, right? And for the nor northeast is a little over a million. If I hover within that area, you can see this is a inflow outflow from the south to south, and inflow from south to south. About the same, right? Because this is all south to south flows. We have if I hover over this reddish area, you can see that it tells us our south to west flow is a little over half a million, and west to south flow is a little over, oh, well, a, little bit, a bit over 4, 400, uh, 400,000. The same thing if I hover over here, it'll, it'll tell me the same thing. It's just going to be from the perspective of wherever you want to hover over. Now, there are areas here where you can format some things. So if you wanted to customize it, you can change the data colors. You can have the default color for everything, maybe a, a gray. Uh, if you didn't like that, you wanted to change the individual colors that it gave us. Uh, for the for the default, you can change the northeast here. We can change it maybe to red, and that changes for that. So this is something where if you wanted to highlight a certain 
node and its connections, you can do that here. I will revert to default and have it go back to the default. Right, and so there's there's areas that you can change in terms of the color and uh, the arcs, the, the nodes and the arc colors. Now, all, what we can also do is if we wanted to have label colors for them. Right now, it's just gray. If we wanted to have something like wild, like red, you know, that would change it. But it's always nice to have this reverse to revert to default option. So any changes we did, we didn't like it, we could change that back. One thing to uh, all think about changing is your title so you can change it actually here and you notice this is basically the word by word is count from region uh, and to region right so we can change that here we can just say uh, 2018 migration flows US regions All right press enter and now you can see it shows up there let's make this a little bit darker font color since it's on the white background and maybe a little bit bigger, uh, maybe that that would be a good size, right? So that's one thing to consider changing because by default it's kind of small to read. And there's other things you can change here, but I'm not going to go into them too deeply. This is a pretty sophisticated diagram when you think about it. And if, you, if your audience isn't aware of chord flows or how it, you probably have to lead them through how these um, flows work. So visually it is nice it's stimulating and if you use this on a dashboard and you're there to provide the interactivity you can do that you can just click on here if i click on south you can see everything kind of fades out a little bit and it highlight it shows the colors from south to the other regions a little bit more dramatically or a little bit more as opposed to if you're out here and you have everything in as its former color. So um, if you wanted to provide interactivity and you're demoing this to someone, having this in the Power BI desktop or in a dashboard is great. If you just wanted to copy and paste it, this is also kind of visually nice because as I mentioned before, you can change the formatting and you wanted to just highlight one area. You can just make the other colors a little bit more mute, highlight that color, make it a more contrasting color and copy and paste it and put it into an infographic or an article or a PowerPoint slide presentation. So that's the way that we can create a chord uh, diagram using Power BI. And we see it's not too hard to create. All you need is your from fields, your to fields, and your data number fields. So I hope that helps. Thanks for watching.